Game Stamp Music. It's Marlon Gaming. It's Marlon Gaming. Gotta do this till I get famous. Gotta do this till I get famous. Got to do this till I get famous. It's Marlon Gaming. It's Marlon Gaming. Gotta do this till I get famous. Got to do this till I get famous. Got to do this till I get famous. Man, I used to eat back of the room. Eating your food through my Uber Eats drives Cause y'all didn't go tip I don't give a damn cause you know I'm a pimp Eating your Nacho Supreme with no sour cream If you know what I mean and I look like Charlie Sheen I don't give a damn when I got my hand Dipping in your nachos or dipping in my mans I don't care what you have to say Sony representing to this day Got the PlayStation up in the flash. When I get my cash through the donations, man, got the super chats, and I wanna thank my fans. Look at that, we got Marvel Wolverine with that MBG with the Sesame Street. Got on that Sesame Seed on that Burger King that I ate when I went and devoured. Didn't take a shower, really don't care. I don't give a damn in my in the underwears, looking like a bone cone with a skeleton. You people really want to flex? I don't give a damn. Let me get this off my chest with my black hands. What you people don't understand? How hard is it to be a content creator? Man, I make all this dough. Tussling y'all for them super chats just so I got my PC because it was inevitable. I don't give a damn because consoles ain't edible because I can't eat them because I'm Uber Eats. And we have our feast. If you know what I mean, cause it's Marlin Gaming Nation back in the flash. Up in the club when I'm making my cash. I don't give a damn when I'm driving in my whip. Think I really care what you people gotta say. All I know is that I'm gonna get paid. Marlin Gaming Nation ain't no abomination. So you better pay attention. Look at that now and I'm spitting all the venom. I don't care like Peter Parker through New York City. It's Marlin, baby. 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 It's but in the cash. I don't give a damn. Put a gun through my dash. Nigga, I'm fast. Got all the flash. Man, I'm going ahead when I'm counting my stacks. I know I said that in the last freaking verse. But I'm running out of material to rehearse. You people really know you're hurt. Cause Sony got the most hardware sales. What about the Switch, Marlin? What, what, what is that? We up in here talking about this. It's still better than Xbox. Nobody wants that. You better kick rocks. Cause this system sucks. PS5, we got remasters, bro. Days gone until dawn. It's jumping on PC, homie. Who is and let me see. Is it the two terabyte series? Oh, of- it's about airbox, man. You trying to tell me you still buying your things off layaway, bro? Look at this fool. Talk about installment payments, bro. How you gonna compare this? To what Sony is doing, bro. Look at this. Microsoft's doing an eight hundred ninety nine dollar bundle, bro. With twenty four months of Game Pass Ultimate, how much do you think that adds up to, bro? For real. Like, come on. Look at that. Xbox is doing. I mean, you got two years on top of the controller, the game console, and everything else. How you gonna sit there and compare this to what Sony's doing with their PlayStation Five Pro without any bells and whistles? It has to be. I'm like, what? No! Man, you Sony fanboys are down bad for this, man. That you guys are out here taking bundles to <laughs> to make the PS5 Pro look like it's better. <laughs> they add in a few controllers to, to, to raise up the price. Oh, but you know what the difference is? You don't have to buy all that. See, that's the difference, man. If you want the Pro, you got to pay that $700 or $800 for that disc drop plus the vertical stand because, like, you, as you can see, the Xbox don't need one. What? <laughs> I'm done. No, 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 Wow. Wait. Just remember Jeff Grubb mentioned that there's going to be a less exciting PS5 remaster in the works. Wow, well, I mean that's sad that we're calling the PS5 a remastered man. 
Like, really, bro? All this so you can damage control for the pro? And what's even more crazy, man, every time I look at this dude's thumbnail, his whole black head look like a face hugger got him in the face. Have you noticed that? Like, his hand covers his whole head, bro. <laughs> like, how you got a bigger hand than your head, bro? Like, that's crazy, man. Like, this dude got freaking face hugger hands, bro. Like, I swear, look at his thumbnail. It looked like a whole face hugger got him right in the face. It's like, what? What is this, alien isolation? The host... And writer of VGC, Video Game Chronicle. It's Marlon, baby. Midler today post about Jeff Grubb claims on X like this. Bro, the drive, guys, y'all think I'm lying? The drives are sold out. Again, on Best Buy, the drives are gone. And they're, they're upcharging on the drives, too. Look at this mess. Look at this. The drives are gone. That's I crazy that you even have to buy something like this for the PlayStation, man. You know, and you guys want to sit there and talk about how these companies care about physical media when they're trying everything in their power to make sure that you guys can't carry your old games anymore, bro. The fact that Sony's even putting something like this means that they don't care about physical media anymore. Like, I swear, like, I don't understand why you people... And then on top of that, you got a limited run that manufactures a lot of the games that you people want to go out there and support. You know, you don't see Capcom dry, uh, pushing out Marvel Capcom collections the same date as their digital release because they understand they essentially using physical as a scam now. And that's what's unfortunate. But remember, remember before it used to be an option or if you want to buy digital, if you want to buy physical. No, Capcom knows like, OK, let's make Marvel Arcade Classics first, you know, and then we'll drop the physical version later so people can double dip and they can get more money. It's 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 ridiculous. I'm so happy I was able to snag one. The drives are freaking gone. So this is a huge plus for those of you who are going to go to Tokyo Game Show. I, I've heard people, you know, you know, travel to Tokyo. To I mean, Sony really want people to go to Tokyo Game Show so they can show nothing? Like, bro, like, Sony got you fools wasting money on everything, man. Playing tickets, remastered consoles, remastered games, remastered controls controllers like how many times does sony want you guys to do the same thing all over again it's like vast from far cry 3 you do you know the definition of insanity doing the same thing and expecting different results that's literally the playstation community man y'all need to have a psychological conversation with um vast from far cry 3 the tokyo game show um man if you're able to get your hands on the ps5 pro you know, at Tokyo Game Show, you're able to play it and, you know, ha you know, give your impressions of it. I, they're skeptical about Concord's return. So that means <laughs> coming back. If, if, if this is all true. Wow. And the lead head of this of the studio is stepping. It was crazy, bro. Like, I've actually found out that people were right. The guy Hellman, what's his name? Hellman Hurst. He's the new CEO for Sony. And like I said, man, you guys thought you had it bad with Jim. You know, it seems like things is getting worse with him, and he's pushing all his Horizon games. Oh, Horizon, it's a glorious masterpiece. He reminds me of that dude, David Cage, where he thinks, like, this dude sounds like he smells his own farts, okay? Like, this dude actually thinks his crap don't stink, you know? And that's the type of dude you guys got for CEOs, man. And he's probably like, oh, it's beautiful, Horizon, Horizon. Oh, wow, it's glorious. What about Days Gone? Oh, no, no, no. All this in favor. Y'all could do a remaster, but we'll do another sequel for Horizon, baby. What about Killzone? Oh, no, 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 no. Horizon, baby. Down. And people are getting ready to walk away, and people are in fear for the studio being closed down by Sony. This ain't good. Th that Concord ain't coming back. Concord is not coming back, bro. It's finished. And on top of that, it says right here, report. Further claims. Listen to this. That makes sense. That's this is sad, bro. This is this is like who is making these decisions, bro, with these <laughs> games, bro? Bro, it's Sony themselves, bro. They can't afford to bring out AAA games before. I mean, they've already stated this to y'all. So for you guys to think that you're gonna get some AAA gaming development coming from Sony anytime soon. I mean, I do think that what they're doing is they're stalling the inevitable, and I think more than likely we're going to see a lot of these games drop as PS4, PS5, and PS6 game titles. So they're going to probably do the same thing they're doing with PS5 and do it with the PS6. So now we're dealing with gaming consoles feeling more like phone, like mobile devices than actual game consoles and what they're supposed to represent. And I know a lot of people, Jim Ryan is to be, because around this time, Jim Ryan was it. 
You see what I'm saying? Actually, no, I would disagree because Jim Ryan actually refused in old games. He actually did not want to take part in that. I think Sony forced him in a financial standpoint because Jim Ryan is on record saying, saying people want to play these old games. He's on record saying it. You guys can look up a video of him saying people or articles, people want to play old games. You know what I'm saying? He's even stated that's probably why he stepped down. He's like, I'm not going to have Sony ruin my name of the greatness of PlayStation and all the accolades and achievements that I've earned through PlayStation 1. Oh, go have that fool Hellman Hurst ruin, hurt his reputation instead. Like, 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 this is part of Jim Ryan. This is Jim no, Ryan. It's, right? No, it's not, bro. Jim Ryan was against the old games. I right hear. This is all Jim Ryan's decision. I can literally pull up an article of Jim Ryan saying that he does not care for old games. These live service doggone games with these major push with these live service games. This is why I keep saying when it comes to live service games, you are playing with freaking fire. No, because Nintendo has some pretty decent live service games. I mean, I'm not saying Splatoon 2 and 3 aren't, but guys, these are games that people pay a subscription service to play these games online. So essentially, they're kind of that live service and subscription approach, right? It's just that you buy the game. So you can't sit there and say that that's not working for everybody else because Xbox is working as well as Nintendo. The only company that it seems to not be working for is Sony. See what I'm saying? And Herman as well. Like, bro, how can you look at this and say, (laughs) yeah, you see the market right now, right? You see the market. You see what's going on. Everybody got their go-to life service game that they like and that they play. Yeah, and Sony don't. You understand? And this game is eight years too freaking late. I think even if it dropped, even when Overwatch was at its peak, it still would have failed, bro. I mean, life service games are just I think it would have seen a little bit more success, but people would have dropped that game like a bad habit. It was just something people didn't want to play. It more and more played out. I mean, think about it. It had games like Battleborn and all these other titles, and they all failed. It would have just been another failure, you know, like it is now. Hero shooters. If you look at the market, there's so many hero shooters. People already have their designated hero shooters already, and you're spending $400 million on <laughs> a freaking studio man i'm done with this dude man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video ben and remember it's marlin gaming it's marlin gaming